everybody, welcome back to another My Am Toys video. Today I have your WWE Superstar Shakeup 2019 predictions for you guys. As you guys know, last week we had the Raw and SmackDown after WrestleMania. Kofi Kingston came out, cut a promo with Seth Rollins talking about the Superstar Shakeup every year after Mania. You know, it's like a fresh season. It's like a new season to, you know, any other sport. So it's a very exciting time. It's like opening day here for WWE, and they're going to start things off with a fresh reset. And I'm hoping that, you know, they do it right this time. I feel like every year it's just the same crap, man. Monday Night Raw in 2018 was the worst creative year that I've ever seen. The Raw after Mania was boring and terrible and just repetitive. The SmackDown Live after Mania was just as bad. Hopefully they make up for it with the Superstar Shake-Up Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live. I feel like they took last week off and this week they should be good to go. But here you see we have the Raw roster and we have the SmackDown roster. I have Becky Lynch in the middle representing Raw and SmackDown, obviously because she's the undisputed Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion. But I think that they're there's no women featured here because I think they're going to unify both the, uh, the women's divisions and I think that that would be a fantastic idea. I think that it will work better. I think that maybe at the next pay-per-view whatever we could have a new championship, have a new women's championship to represent both brands. The women's tag titles are, you know, uh, unified. The main titles could be unified and if they wanted to since you have the women going cross brand, you could have a new mid-card title for the women if you wanted to. But I think that unifying the women's divisions on Raw and SmackDown would be best. You'd have fresh matchups every week. You wouldn't get the same repetitive Riot Squad versus Bailey, Sasha, and Natalya or some random tag team throw together. So I think that is what, that's covering all the women right there. I think they will unify and we will see all the women on both Raw and SmackDown. So now that we've covered that, guys, getting into it, I um, I guess we can just start off with who I think is going to go over to uh, SmackDown and then who I think is going to go over to Raw, who's going to flip-flop and stuff. I have all the champions here. we got the Universal Champion, the Intercontinental Champion, and the Raw Tag Champions. And then we have the WWE United States and SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. A lot of talent on both rosters. When I was like sorting this thing out, I mean, both brands are loaded, dude. WWE is so freaking amazed right now with talent. They have the most talent they've ever had collectively. And we also have Buddy Murphy. They could also be called up. Cruiserweight guys could also be in there. I don't think I'm going to include those in this, but I do have a few call-ups and stuff that I'm going to insert in here. But uh, So I guess what we can do is start off with who I think is going to go over to SmackDown, and then we will do the same thing with the people that are coming from SmackDown over to Raw. So the first superstar that I think that is going to go from Raw over to SmackDown Live, and I think, let's go ahead and get Becky out of the way. So we have a little division right here. You guys know the women, the women are going to be unified. So the first superstar that I think that is going to go from Monday Night Raw over to SmackDown Live is the Intercontinental Champion, Finjamin Balor. Finn Balor, my boy Finn Balor. I think this would be terrific for his career. You know, he's been over on Monday Night Raw ever since he got caught up in, what, 2016 from NXT in the draft. I think that this would be a great move for him. You know, he came out with the blue trunks and the blue knee pads with the white. I know it could be just matching the Intercontinental Championship, but he's been teasing that he's going to SmackDown, and I think that this would be a great move for him. I think that he has a much better chance of thriving as a main event star on SmackDown, and this will be a great move for Finn Balor to go from Raw over to SmackDown. So I'm going to stick the Intercontinental Champion Finn Balor over here on SmackDown Live side. Another talent that I think that will go over to SmackDown Live, guys, he's actually already over here, but that is Ricochet. I think that we are going to finally break up Alistair Black and Ricochet, and I think that Alistair Black fits the Monday Night Raw mold much better than Ricochet. So I'm going to say that uh, Blackishay is going to break up, and we're finally going to see Ricochet on the blue brand. He just fits better. You know, that indie style, the high-flying style just fits better for SmackDown Live. So I'm going to be putting Ricochet back where he was, and he's going to join SmackDown Live. The next superstar that I think is going to go over to SmackDown Live, guys, is the Scottish Psychopath. Drew McIntyre. I, they did tease this on SmackDown Live. He came out with the bar. Remember the bar came out and you know the crowd was shitting shut the F up and all that good stuff and they they made a friend and Drew McIntyre came over to SmackDown Live. I hope that this isn't like a new stable. Like I think that would be terrible for Drew. I'm sick of them putting him in random stables but I think that he would fit in nicely. I think this could be your first feud for the WWE Championship. Drew McIntyre being the heel versus a face Kofi Kingston for the WWE title. That would be beautiful for Drew. So I'm going to stick Drew over here on the SmackDown Live side. And our next superstar that I think is going to go over to SmackDown Live, I think this will do a lot for him creatively. I think that Braun Strowman will move over to the blue brand. I think that this man needs a crucial reset. This man has just been spinning his wheels forever now. Ever since he lost multiple championship matches to Brock Lesnar, I think that this would be the perfect moment for this man to go over to SmackDown Live and, I don't know, just get him on a fresh brand, man. I feel like Raw has just been so repetitive and just so lackluster that I think that this would be a good move 
for Braun Strowman is to move over to the blue brand, and we're going to move him over to SmackDown. Next up, guys, we have a tag team making their way over to SmackDown Live, and I think that they are going to take the Revival. The Revival will be headed over to the blue brand. You know, they've been on Monday Night Raw. They've won the Raw tag titles. They've just been whatever. Uh, another bold prediction, guys, they may not send both of them. I may I may think, like, I, I think they could break these guys up, and then they could be out of the company headed to AEW. Don't be surprised if that happens, but I'm going to say that the Revival go over to the blue brand for now, and that is the first tag team that we have from Raw going over to SmackDown. And the last talent that I think that will head to SmackDown Live, guys, is Elias. Yes, we have seen Elias on Monday Night Raw every single week, I think, since he got caught up to the main roster. So I think, why not freshen things up a bit, have his concerts, have his interruptions, have everything else go over onto the blue brand. I think he would be hilarious. And maybe even turn the man face again. I liked him much better as a face. I know he can do either one, but people love Elias so much. Why not have him as a baby face and have him go after that Intercontinental Championship on SmackDown Live? So that is pretty much it for all of the talents that I have going from Raw over to the blue brand. So now we're going to cover all the talents that I think that will go from SmackDown over to Raw. Starting things out, since the Intercontinental Champion went over to SmackDown, guys, we have to have the U.S. Champion over on Raw. So I think that Samoan Joseph will be making his way back over to Monday Night Raw. We could have him, you know, uh, get involved in the Universal Championship picture with uh, Seth Rollins. We could have him mix it up with Aleister Black. We could have some really nice championship matches with Samoan Joseph. So I think that Samoa Joe is going to go over to Monday Night Raw, and hopefully it'll be a lot better than uh, his first run over there. Next up, guys, we have one of the main event talents on SmackDown, Randall Keith Orton. Yes, I think that he is going to make his way over to Monday Night Raw. We haven't, we have not seen him on Monday Night Raw. I think since like 2015. That is, that is a long time. We have not seen the Viper on on Monday Night Raw, and I think with you know guys like Drew McIntyre, Braun Strowman, you know Finn Balor, guys like that missing from Raw, I think that it's imperative to have a big name guy go over there and compete for the Universal Championship. I think that this the title would look great on Randy Orton. I think that his heel work has been great. I wish he would have defeated AJ Styles, giving him some momentum coming out of WrestleMania, but I think that he would be a great fit for Raw. So I'm going to send the Viper over to Monday Night Roy, my boy, going to cause some havoc on Monday nights. Another talent that is going to follow him over there, guys, and I know you can already picture it, the phenomenal AJ Styles will be leaving SmackDown Live. I know this is a bold prediction, and honestly, I don't think that they would take Randy Orton and AJ Styles away from Raw, and I honestly don't want to see AJ Styles on Raw, even though it would be a fresh matchup. I do want to see this matchup. I want to see the man Seth Rollins take on AJ Styles. I, I've been wanting that matchup for so long now, and I want to see it happen. So I'm going to say that AJ Styles and Randy Orton both leave SmackDown Live and go over to Raw, and I think that we can get some really fresh matchups there with AJ going over there to join Randy Orton. That would be beautiful and I, I, again, I know that SmackDown Live is the house that AJ Styles built but you know what? They could sell some new t-shirts or something and we could have AJ over there on Raw. A tag team. A tag team that will be going over to Monday Night Raw and joining their Samoan brother, Roman Reigns. We got the Usos. The Usos will be going over to Monday Night Raw. I think that they've done everything they've had to do over on SmackDown Live. I know that uh, you know they just lost the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships and I think that is the reason why they are jumping ship to Raw and the only reason that they would do that is to uh, go over to Monday Night Raw since they dropped their SmackDown Live tag title. So they will reunite with Roman Reigns and we're going to have the Usos join the Monday Night Raw tag division. One thing I also heard guys is that they could be uh, they could be unifying the tag team divisions as well. We could be having like a uh, unification where uh, we get new tag titles and both tag teams merge like the women. And I'd be for that too. I think that'd be fantastic because you again would have fresh matchups. You wouldn't have the same four teams competing over the titles all the time you could actually have some fresh matchups and you know it would be cross-branded and we would have an epic you know style of both brands coming together for the tag titles like they do the women. I think that would be great, but, you know, I, I doubt they do it. We mentioned Aleister Black before, guys, but uh, I wanted to throw this in there. Aleister Black will be remaining on Monday Night Raw. I know he's already been on there, so this isn't much news, but Aleister Black will be staying on Monday Night Raw while his uh, tag team partner Ricochet will be going over to SmackDown. An NXT slash NXT UK call-up, guys, Pete Dunne. I think Pete Dunne's going to go up to the main roster, even though, you know, honestly, he should probably go to NXT first, you know, NXT UK, then NXT for a little bit, then go Go to the main roster, but you know what? I just think this is going to happen. I see it happening. Pete Dunne's going to be on Monday Night Raw, and I honestly don't see him, you know, doing too much, but I think he is going to go to Raw, and if you want to know about Lars Sullivan, guys, I honestly don't care where the man uh, lines up. I, I don't think he's very entertaining. I think he's very boring, and 
I don't know if they're going to have him on the same brand as Braun Strowman. So honestly, wherever Braun Strowman goes, I think Lars Sullivan will be on the opposite side of that coin. So if you guys, uh, wherever Braun Strowman lands is the, the opposite is where Lars Sullivan will go. Next up, guys, we have two of my boys. My boy, Kevin Owens, who is one of my favorite talents in the entire world, and Samuel Zayn. I think both of these guys will end up... Ooh, this is tough. I know Sami Zayn just lost to Finn Balor on SmackDown. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know if they're going to put them back together, man. I don't know if they're going to be on the same brand. So I'm going to predict that Kevin Owens stays on SmackDown. And I'm going to predict that Samuel Zayn stays on Raw. I think that's the way they'll do it. So we're going to have Sami Zayn on Raw and Kevin Owens on SmackDown. And then I think this is the final little uh, mix-up, mix-and-match that we have, guys. I think that they're going to take The Miz and put him on Monday Night Raw. I think that, you know, The Miz, he just lost to Shane McMahon. He wasn't on Tuesday. He wasn't, you know, involved with Shane McMahon. I think the feud may be over, and I think that uh, they can give this man a fresh reset. They may not, you know, who knows, but I think he's going to go to Raw. I'm going with The Miz to go over to Monday Night Raw, and that is going to do it, I think, for my Superstar Shake-Up predictions for 2019. So this is what we're left with at the end, guys. Over on SmackDown, we have the WWE Champion Kofi. We have the Intercontinental Champion Finn Balor, the Hardy Boys as the SmackDown Live Tag Champions. Notable names, we got Kevin Owens, Drew McIntyre, Daniel Bryan, Ricochet, The Revival, Mustafa Ali, Rusev, Shinsuke Nakamura, Braun Strowman, Elias, the rest of New Day, Cian Almas, The Bar, The Club. I mean, there's a ton of talent over on SmackDown. And then on Monday Night Raw side of things, we have Seth Rollins, Samoa Joe, The Major Brothers, Aleister Black, The Miz, The Uso, Sami Zayn, Randy Orton, AJ Styles, Pete Dunne, Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt, Bobby Lashley, Trash Corbin, Bobby Roode, and Chad Gable. We have the authors of Painter still over there. And we could see some more NXT call-ups, guys. Undisputed Era could come up. We could have, you know, Rey Mysterio could go over to Raw. I heard that he actually may have retired. There's actually a lot of things that could happen, but this is just sort of a prediction that I have. This is going to be your Monday Night Raw outlook, and this is going to be your SmackDown Live outlook when it is all said and done, but I'm excited for the shows anyways. Monday and Tuesday, I'm very, very excited to see which superstars go where, and I'm excited to see some fresh matchups. The one that, if I could choose one for sure, I would switch the U.S. title and the Intercontinental Champion. I want Finn Balor on SmackDown Live so bad, just so he has a chance at rising above, and I think that that would be the best for him. Also, Ricochet staying on SmackDown Live would be great, and then AJ Styles coming to Raw is another big one that I want to see, just so we get the Seth versus AJ Styles matchup. Maybe a heel Seth Rollins versus a face AJ would be beautiful, but that pretty much much does it for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy my superstar shake up 2019 predictions it was very fun to do this i love seeing all the figures and the rosters lined up here it's so beautiful but thank you guys for watching comment down below your superstar shake up predictions in the comment section below what do you think about merging the women's and tag team divisions across both brands subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe and wwe figure related videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you